you have betrayed me again. Conspiring with Vicky? Huh. I've done nothing of the kind. Neither has Vicky. Oh, really? Well, then what are the two of you doing here at the airport? We're taking a flight to the Bahamas. behind my back. No, oh, Dorian. Dorian. Oh, really? What am I supposed to believe? That you're going to the Bahamas on business? <laughs> yeah, well, as a matter of fact, that's exactly what we're doing. Oh, sure. White sand beaches, blue lagoon. Have they invented a laptop that floats? We are attending a publishing conference in the Bahamas. Mel is subbing for Clint until I can appoint a replacement. Subbing for Clint? Hmm. Well... I'm not going to get into this, okay? I'm going to wait for you over there. If you want to come, fine. If you don't want to come, that's fine, too. Mm -hmm. Subbing for Clint. As editor-in-chief, I let you a note. You didn't read it? Subbing for Clint on a tropical island? Dorian, I am not having an affair with Vicky. I love you. I don't like you very much at this moment, but Lord knows. I do love you. because I gave my word. You can't leave me, not after everything that I've been through today. You cannot fly off with Vicky. I forbid you. You forbid me. I see, sir, I'm supposed to trot along after you. You're gonna get on that plane to Switzerland tomorrow morning. And we both know it. My ticket? Are you sure? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. This is yours. You're in seat 1B, okay? I'll be on board. 1B. How can you go away with her? We'll talk about this when I get back. We'll talk about a lot of things. so much. You've been no help at all. Pardon me. Can I borrow that pen and a piece of paper? Thank you. Uh, has the uh, flight to the Bahamas left yet? It's almost ready for takeoff. Oh, oh. Uh, just one moment, please. Uh, miss, miss, uh, I, I need you to please. Oh, wait a minute. Give this to the passenger in seat 1B, please. Thank you. Mike, you could buy out my good-for-nothing partner with just one of those earrings. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Right now, we're talking about me. Do you think Mel will like me in this dress? Well, I think he'll want to rip it right off you. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I needed to hear. <laughs> oh, you must have really pushed him to the wall this time. I wouldn't say the wall. But out the door and down the steps. Mm, ouch. Ouch. So did you manage to find all his favorite foods? Lisa did the actual legwork. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> she has found you a lovely T-bone steak, which will be medium rare, and spuds. That's what Mel liked. Yeah. Oh, and what about the cheesecake? Cheesecake? You didn't mention cheesecake. Yes, I did. <sighs> One New York cheesecake plain. Dorian, I'm telling you, you didn't mention it. That's why I've selected a lovely apple pie and ice cream. The good stuff. No good. Oh, come on, Dorian. Name one person in the whole world who doesn't love apple pie a la mode. RJ, don't argue with me, okay? Mel's going to be in a very bad mood when he gets here. I tricked him to get him off that airplane and away from Vicky. I know, I know. You told me a hundred times. Am I being hyper? Am I being crazy? Oh, catering another dinner for you? 
I've got a lot to get done in the next 24 hours. I've got to get my husband back home, give him a night he'll never forget, and hopefully get him to fly with me to Switzerland so that we can rescue Kathy from Kevin Buchanan. Well, if anyone can do it, I'm sure you can. But not without that cheesecake. <laughs>